So that's why we have to trust in a, like we have a rounded, snap sided, oval, rectangular. Okay. So like this, we have different different type of fuselages. So based on different different type of fuselages, we have different different type of aircrafts. So as per our requirement, we will use that particular aircraft, uh, like for commercial purpose, for uh, uh, military purpose, okay, for rescue operations. So like this, uh, we have different different uh, aircraft, and for the different different aircraft, we can able to see the different type of fuselage. These things are you discussed, and uh, also we have seen the following design steps, especially for the fuselage. Right. So here, uh, this is shown for conventional aircraft. Okay. So once you plan to design your fuselage, especially for conventional aircraft, then uh, these steps you have to follow. So following that, the fuselage design steps for a conventional aircraft. This also we have discussed. Okay. And here we have two different kind of fuselages: one for jet aircraft and one more for passenger aircraft. So see the different uh, type of fuselage. Okay. The complete uh, different different compartments and complete shape of this fuselage that is passenger aircraft fuselage and the jet engine aircraft fuselage. This is a uh, different and this one is uh, different. Okay. So this is also we discussed and we also seen the passenger cabin requirements. And uh, here we have different different aircrafts and based on the different different aircraft, the fuselage structure of the particular aircraft like Airbus A320, Boeing Triple Seven, and other aircraft what, uh, we have. So that aircraft fuselage arrangement, sitting arrangement and overall fuselage structure. You can able to see it's uh, not uh, completely same. There's a minor difference between this fuselage with respect to the other three fuselage. Right? So we also have seen the cabin width and cabin length and overall fuselage dimensions. Okay, once you know all these parameters, okay, then it's very easy to design your required fuselage in the open USB software okay so this all things we have discussed there is the geometrical parameters uh, the geometrical dimensions for seating arrangement okay. so once you know all these uh, dimensions the complete the uh, dimensions from nose to the tip once you know all complete the uh, dimensions okay of all these uh, structures Okay, from most to tip, then that will become very easy to design your model. Okay, so here we have the Airbus A300 aircraft, complete assembly part. So here we can able to see the fuselage. Okay, inside the fuselage seating arrangement, how they have done for this aircraft. So now we will open our open USB software and we will discuss about the today's topic that is the fuselage design with different cross sections. Okay. So once uh, if you select your fuselage and if you add, then you get one fuselage, and this fuselage is the default fuselage. So whatever we have fuselage in our open USB window, the fuselage which I have added here, this fuselage is the default fuselage. Okay. So for this default fuselage, you can do the changes as per your requirement. So in this section, here we have totally first one is that zero one cross section, and this is our second section, and this one is our third section. Okay. If I call this one as point one, the zero one, then uh, that will be just uh, a point. That's it. There is no any cross 
classification. So that's why their cross section is zero. Okay, and here we have the first cross section, and next we have the second cross section, third cross section. And fourth, last one, the pointed one. Okay. So for this default fuselage, we have totally four cross sections. Two cross sections are pointed, and the three cross sections that we have that is the ellipse based type, right? Third one, second one, and the first one. Okay. Zeroth and fourth one that is completely pointed. The structure, say, fourth cross section is the cross section. Which type of cross section? That is the pointed type of cross sections. You can confirm by clicking on this show option. Okay, so here you can able to see it's completely pointed cross section. Okay, and similarly, if you come to second cross section, you can able to see it's completely ellipse based. Okay. And your second cross section that is also same ellipse base. First cross section same ellipse type cross section with some with some default height and with some default width. Okay. And we have the initial nose part that is also pointed. Okay. So for this cross sections you can do changes as per your requirement and you can design your fuselage model so now this one is default no? so for this default just you can share like this and you can uh, uh, save this file save as so i will choose my path so here uh, there is a default component i'll save this so i already saved so that's why I I will not say once again. Okay. Now what I will do? I will do changes for this default. Okay. So I choose this deep uh, fuse as the geometry, and I will change the surface that is shaded into a wireframe. Okay. So now what I will do? I will change the cross sections because today's topic is that only fuse that design the different cross sections. So just uh, we will analyze the cross sections. Okay. First cross section, uh, zero cross sections. What we have, I will not disturb uh, to that uh, section. I'll jump to first cross section here. Okay, so here we have the ellipse type. So we can add any other uh, type like a circle, super ellipse, rounded rectangle, general fuselage, fuselage file, four series, six series, biconvex, wedged, bezier. Hero file, okay. File if you have that also you can add CST hero file, Karman trades or four digit or five digit or uh, like different different uh, uh, cross sections. What we have those cross sections you can select as soon as you select. Suppose now I will select a, a rounded rectangle, okay. If I select then on the particular section, the first section where I am, okay. That section will get changed. That's it. So I will select now. See, only that first cross section got changed. Okay, and the rest other cross sections what we have that has remained same. Okay, so for this rectangular uh, uh, section, okay, which I have chosen for first cross section, okay, that is the rectangular rounded rectangular type cross section. So you can now uh, even. Uh, See the preview of their cross sections, and you can do changes as per your requirement. Suppose I want to change my width of this cross section, then you can change the width, or else you can change the height, okay, height and width. You can change simultaneously as per your required uh, dimension. You can type, okay, if you know, like uh, now just I will type five. And for this case also, five. Okay. 
Okay, and remaining everything I will keep default and it will change the I will increase the radius. Okay. Yes. So for this cross sections, I have done some alterations. Similarly, now I'll move to second cross sections. Okay. So here we have default uh, cross section that is ellipse type. This one I will change. I'll change. I will add by convex. Okay. Just to show you that different different cross sections uh, shape can be generated in that one fuselage component. Okay. And you can increase the core of that uh, by convex uh, cross sections which you have added in the section two. Okay. So like this you can do the changes. Here I have added uh, for the section two that is the by convex type of section cross sections I have added. So for that I'm changing the core and also the thickness to core ratio okay so the changes you can able to see here now i'll jump to third cross section okay here I'll change this ellipse type, the default what we have, that I will change to wedge type. Okay. And I'll increase the chord. And also the thickness to chord ratio. Okay. And this fourth section, it's a pointed loop, so I'll change that pointed into circle type, and I will increase the diameter. And now I will share this uh, complete model. So this is this. Uh, yeah, here we have the rough uh, fuselage with uh, uh, different different cross sections. Okay. You can able to see the different different cross sections. Okay. First cross section, which one we have? Rounded rectangle. Okay. And similarly, second cross section by convex. Third cross section wedged. Fourth cross sections circle with some layer. If you increase the layer, then you can able to see the changes in your complete uh, model. Yeah. So this you can share and you can add your material default material into any other material okay so this one is a rough of his large model with the different, different cross sections okay now one thing now i will add his large and i will show other designs I'll delete this. I'll add once again the default fuselage. For this default fuselage, what I will do? I'll come to the section. Okay. Here, what I'll do? I will split the sections. Currently, I have four sections. So this most section, I'll keep as it is. That is pointed one. Okay, and. I'll split the second section. Mm, yes, 
insert So here I will add one more cross section. So now we can able to see we have totally one, two, three, four, five, six cross sections. Okay. I will come to the first cross section. I will change. The length. Of this complete model. Okay, and in this cross sections. I will add. Circle type fuse like cross section. Now we can see there. Similarly, we come to the second cross section. I will change the second cross section. I jump to the third cross section. And change the cross section. I jump to next cross section. Similarly, I will maintain the same cross section with the different diameter. Last cross section, fifth cross section. And here is our last cross section and change it to a circle and do the layer. And I will share this now. Let's see how the model will look. It's just a rough model. Let me see can monitor your fuse large model as per your required cross section. You can add I will choose a file which I will design. I'll open the file. Mm. Yeah. Yes. So see in this case, in this case, see we have totally one, two, three, four, five, six cross sections. Okay. I'll just uh, choose only one window. Yeah. So in this case, we have totally six cross sections. Okay. I will come to first cross section. First cross section is completely pointed. Okay. And, and the second cross section lips with the, some height and the width I have added. Okay. Second cross section, little bit 
varied her cross section fourth one fifth ellipse type sixth again pointed okay so here front view left view if you see you can able to see the complete uh, model i mean the complete fuselage model for this model what i will do i will shade yeah okay now you can do alterations i'll convert into iframe yeah so you can increase the number of views Wireframes. Or you can increase the length, design, just come to design and increase the length. Okay, and similarly you can change your cross sections. Now I will change this cross section. First cross section leads to rectangle or circle. I'll come to second cross section. Okay, and I will increase the radius and width. Also, the height. I will come to fourth cross section. Just increase the height. Okay. Similarly, I will come to third cross section and I will increase the width, the height and width. And for this. Model, I'll shade. So, see the fuselage, the shape got changed. Initially, it was not like this, right? Complete shape got changed. You can see the views. Four views. Initially, the fuselage was not like this, right? And whatever you do changes, okay. The uh, special cross sections, okay. At particular uh, section, okay. First section, third section, okay. Whatever changes you can, if if you do any changes, okay, that changes uh, you can observe here. Now I'll change this. Okay, let's do rectangular. You can able to see the changes. So here, here is that section, okay, the fifth section. Yes, okay. Now, for the same model, now I will 
change the cross section rectangle into four digit in a foil. Okay, first we'll come to the first section. Let's convert the surface into wireframe. Mm, yeah. So point A1, I'll change into circle. And I'll increase the diameter. So you can able to see the changes. Initially, that section was pointed. Okay. The pointed section I have changed into a circle. And because of the circle, as we know, the parameter will get that is the diameter or radius. So the diameter or radius, uh, if you know, then just uh, type or just default you will increase uh, some value. Currently, we have a lot of model here. So just I will increase uh, the diameter. Okay. Similarly, I'll come to last section. Here also I'll change point into circle. And I'll increase the layer. And I'll share this model. So view or four views. Say from nose to tip. A section completely changed. Initially it was pointed, right? But now it's not pointed. I have changed that point into a circle and I have given some diameter. Okay, no side and tip side. That's why the shape got changed. So like this, uh, you can do changes to your fuse latch model. Okay, at each and every section. Okay, you can split your section, you can cut your section, you can copy and you can paste your section. So uh, that also will show. Let me convert this window four hundred to one window. Okay. I'll delete this complete uh, model. I'll add default fuse latch again. I'll put this on screen. Hmm. So currently, here we have the default fuse latch with four sections. Okay. I'll come to first section. Okay. I will copy and I'll paste or else even you can cut that section if you don't need that section you can cut here okay by using this option you can cut and if you need any section then just insert that section similarly after your third section if you want to insert any other new section you can insert your new section or else if you want to add your section near the nose side then just come to the zero section the pointed one okay and here you insert and you change the parameters Like this, you can change the parameters along with how much you want to change. Okay, and similarly, you can jump to second section. You can do alterations.
so it is pointed i'll change it to circle and i'll put it here which means here the complete default fuse latch okay you can change into let me complete this first yeah so here we got a different fuse latch right uh -huh. which means here what i want to tell the long cylindrical shell close the fuselage what we have okay that we can change into as per our requirement like uh, if you want to design uh, ballistic missiles or if you want to design launch vehicles or, or uh, rockets okay or blades okay or missiles or just normal fuselage so that uh, changes can be done or that type of design easily can do okay as per your required then you can complete the design in this open USB just by altering the cross sections and just by inputting your required particular geometry and the dimensions correctly. If you type and if you insert that data properly, then you will get your required model. Okay, so that's all about today's topic. We'll discuss tomorrow. Thank you to all. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you.